All right, so now we're in Australia. So Lexus Australia has taken a major step forward, significantly reducing customer wait time across the volume selling models by delivering more cars in a single year at any time over the 33 years in Australia. So the luxury brand, they deliver 15,192 vehicles to the customers. And that is beating the best year 2019 of 9,612. So they actually sold a lot more cars this year. So electrified models actually was 9,170 vehicles. And that's 60.4% of the cars delivered are being hybrid, plug-in hybrids, or fully electric. They're saying that the most popular Lexus models wait time has been reduced from over 12 months. And in the case of the top selling NX 350H, the hybrid, from 24 months, beyond 24 months, to now down to four to six months. That is a significant decrease. And I'm hoping that the plug-in hybrid will get to this point as well. Throughout the year, they receive a massive injection of stock across the board, particularly in the hybrid electric variants that continue to attract huge demand. Okay, so they're saying that the best-selling NX led the way. 6,875 sales and includes 3,417 that are hybrid and plug-in hybrids. So roughly half are plug-in hybrids and hybrids. And they're saying that the new generation RX, they're actually seeing a strong demand in more than a decade. And they're saying that the hybrid powertrain is accounting for 85% of all the RXs being delivered. That's quite significant, 85% electrified. That is very hard to get. I have not seen that in other markets at this point. So they're saying that deliveries of the UX has doubled over the previous year and the LX flagship and the ES sedans were delivered at an any time. So they've actually delivered more of the LX and ESs in their history. So the RX 500H and the LX wait times have significantly reduced, but remaining a challenge at 12 months or more. Okay. And Lexus has continued to take expression of interest for the NX plug-in hybrid. So which means the NX plug-in hybrid is still short, which means it's still in hot demand and it's still limited. And as other markets, LBX and GX is being launched in the first half of the year, and they're going to see more customers coming in. So they are committed to look at getting more of these sales. And they're saying that Lexus Australia is committed to electrified powertrains accounting for 80% of the new car volume by 2025 and 100% by 2030. So let's look at this. So they say that 8,377 were hybrids, 415. So you can see here, they only sold 415 NX450H pluses. That's all they did. Because that's the only model that a plug-in hybrid that they sell in Australia at this point. 378 were BEVs, which is the UX and the RZ. And the petrol and diesel is 6,022, which is the rest. Follow me on Instagram at LSFT videos. You can see updates on my experience with the NX 450H Plus, which may not be shown on any future videos. You can reach out to me via direct messaging if you have any questions on your Lexus. If you like this video, you can provide me feedback in the comments below, like this video, share it with your friends. This definitely will help with the YouTube algorithms. Press the subscribe button and bell icon and get notified when new videos show up. And lastly, if you want to support me further, you can provide me a super thanks or visit my Amazon storefront before you purchase anything from Amazon and or you can purchase products from the list on the items that I've been using with my vehicle or at home at no extra cost to you. And now let's continue with the video. So I quickly switch over to Lexus Australia sales. Again, I don't have the numbers past September at this point. We have the NX because in the press release, they said they sold 6,875 and which means 1,812 were sold in these three months. So I'm going to ignore the other model breakdowns because I don't have that information yet, but then we can look at the total. So we know that 1812 was the NX and the other car models was 1897 to total 15,192. And if you look at these numbers, 7,000, 9,000, 8,000, 9,000, breaking all the records you can think of. 
15,192 is extremely hot, extremely well done, Australia. All right, so then we look into here, the NX 6,875, the best you can ever get. And it's almost doubled of last year. It's actually doubled of last year already. So they sold like two years of NXs, they sold in one year. Some of this definitely is because of the wait times, but definitely hoping that either this will continue to go up or next year, 2024, will be a year of flattening or redu reducing numbers. All right. So now we look at the numbers here. The NX sold, they said they sold 6,875. NX 450H Plus sold 415. So 6% are plug in hybrids. Hybrids are 43%, almost 44%. And the 350 gas is 3,458. So you can see that every country has a different number. At this point, it seems like Canada actually has the better percentage or the plug-in hybrid. Whereas in Australia, 6% seems to still be a bit low. Hopefully that will change. Um, again, I think that all depends on the demand, like 6,800 units is not as, is, is still less than the 10,000 units that we've seen in Canada. So overall, good numbers. We're seeing extremely good numbers for Australia for Lexus here. But the 6% for the 450H Plus seems a bit low. I think getting it to 10% is really where the sweet spot is. The hybrid should actually account for at least 50, if not more. All right, so there we have it. Australia, we have some numbers, but not all the numbers. But 15,000, definitely a good number to see. So after looking at Australia, we quickly go to their neighbor, New Zealand. So in this article, they're saying that New Zealand has actually surpassed their 2022 annual record in October. So they have two more months before they actually go and report the final numbers, right? So October, they said they reached 1,080 vehicles. So definitely New Zealand is a small market, small little island right beside Australia, right? So when you look at it, they're saying they have... New Zealand vehicle market share 27.5%. That's Toyota and Lexus. And that seems almost almost a third, right? Um, they're saying that it, they're quite successful because right now they got 1,080 in October and 2022, it's 1,023. So they're totally surpassing 2022. And again, it, this could be related to the pandemic and shortages of, of parts, but really Lexus really just selling 1,000 vehicles is not too hard, even with a shortage of parts. So we quickly move over to another article, Lexus New Zealand soars. Electrification boosts brand to the record 2023 sales. So we continue down here and, and see what the end they ended up with. So 1,309 vehicles were sold for Lexus in New Zealand. So that is almost, almost 300, so 208 something vehicles. It seems very small numbers, but when you look at a small market like this, definitely any sales is actually a good sale. So they're saying that the Lexus brand is maturing and customers are coming back and truly understand what Lexus is, is stands for. So when we continue down here, if you look at it, they're saying that in 2023, as 90% of Lexus sales are electrified. So either they are a plug-in hybrid, a hybrid, or a BEV. And they're looking really at 2024, where the like the LBX is coming in and all that. They're definitely going to be going well. So they're saying that the RX SUV is actually their best-selling one, while the plug-in NX and the fully electric UX are, with the recent battery upgrade, are actually diversing the preferences. And the RZ seems to be achieving good numbers, uh, good uh, rankings in the uh, Australian new car assessment program and then they're looking at 2024 will actually be another better year they're looking at the anticipated lbx will actually be attracting a new generation of customers and they're going to be looking at breaking another record in 2024 time will tell and we'll see if new zealand will break the records in 2024 we quickly jump over to japan 
And we're looking at this article from Japan Today, which talks about Japan sales in 2023. Toyota and Lexus has not officially released their 2023 numbers yet, and that will be coming soon. But in this article, they actually tell us about Toyota. So you can see if I can just scroll down, it says by brand Toyota Motor sees a new car sales jumping 27.2%, and that's up to 1.5 million vehicles, while the company's upscale Lexus brand grew about 2.3 folds to 94,645. I'm going to take this number and go to back to my worldwide sales numbers and take a look because at that point, this spreadsheet is not fully put in. So Lexus worldwide sales. So you can see here, I have 94,645. So which means this summer they sold 5,022. So 2023, the whole thing is bold. What does that mean? It means the whole year they've actually broke sales in Japan. And again, it could also mean similar to Taiwan because 2022 was a bad year. They're actually moving some of the sales to 2023. But when you look at it, that's significant. That's like 53,000 more vehicles, which means an additional year of sales. So even when we look at, we add 20,000 back into last year, making it 60,000, which means there's a growth and it matches 2019. It still means that they're looking at 74,000, which means the brand is selling extremely well in Japan. So ignore this projection because this projection is actually assuming that we would actually not have December numbers. But when you look at it, it's a very good thing. Right now, I'm hoping that if this momentum continues, so we will have to look at 2024 and see if they will break the 100,000 barrier in Japan itself, in their hometown. So in Japan, 2023, 130% increase, 2.3 folds, which means double that, which is 92,000 plus whatever's remaining. Extremely good news for Lexus Japan. I hope that you found that this video was informative and until next video, drive safely. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can provide me a super thanks. And until next time, cheers.